Please join me in welcoming Steve Flinter, Vice President of AI and Machine Learning, Head of Emerging Technology from MasterCard. Hey, Alan. Hey, Steve. How are you? Great. Very nice to meet Good. you. Good. Nice to see you. Okay. So, Steve, I am a banking executive. Okay. Now, you might say, Alan, <laughs> you don't look like a banking executive, but okay. I can fix that. <laughs> pardon, pardon me. I guess I should have a, a privacy screen here. But let me just set that there. Let me... Uh, Go ahead and put my little vest on here. Very sharp. Yeah, exactly. Okay, in the interest of time, I'll <laughs> a couple buttons. And, of course, you can't be a banking executive <laughs> without your bowler. Okay. Very good. <laughs> okay, so Steve, I'm a banking executive. Okay. And uh, I want to create a loyalty rewards program. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you know, what I need to get help with is how to create a program that's going to kind of maximize revenue back to me because, you know, we need to get the right programs to the right cardholders. Sure. So, sounds like a fairly complex problem. So yeah, maybe really you can explain complex. it in a little bit more detail. There are all detail. kinds of different parameters we need mm -hmm. to deal with. We want to make sure that you know, our customers are satisfied with the programs we're offering. We want to maximize the uptake. Lots of different variables that we need to deal with. OK. Well, maybe we can help you with that. I'm hoping you can. So let me show you something that we're working on this at MasterCard. This isn't Master distracting Heart. you, is it? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. This is how I meet all my customers. Um, let me show you something that we're working on MasterCard that, that may be uh, a good fit for the problem you've just described. So we're looking at the whole problem of offer allocation. So it sounds like from what you've described, you have a number of complex variables, uh, like the number of cardholders maybe in your program, the number of offers in your campaign, maybe you have scores around propensity or likelihood to accept offers, and you're trying to maximize some value or, or optimize some value. Exactly, and it's driving us crazy. Okay. So we, we've, we're working on a system uh, focused on solving that problem using the D-Wave quantum computer, as it happens. Um, so what we can do in our system is we can set up the number of cardholders we want to run in our program. We can set up the number of offers that you have in your total campaign, the number of offers you want to give to any individual cardholder. And we can also help you optimize for things that you care about. So we can optimize for the total revenue that the campaign uh, is likely to yield. Or we can also, I like that. I'm a banker. Absolutely. But you can also tweak that. And you can say, well, I want to optimize for you know, cardholder satisfaction, which in this case means uh, ensuring that the, most cardholders get offers that are relevant to them. And relevance is a big thing when it comes to providing offers and, and rewards. Right. So we can tweak all of that. So let me go ahead and, and set up one problem just to give you an example of what this might look like. So here I'm choosing relatively small numbers, so 100 offers, uh, sorry, 100 cardholders total of 10 uh, offers, and we're going to give four offers per cardholder. So let me go ahead and submit that problem. So what's happening now in the background is we've taken that data in. We're using simulated data for, for this example. Uh, we're formulating it. We're going to submit that job to the uh, quantum annealer, and we're going to get a result back. So we can see on the, the screen here on the left-hand side, what we're able to do is estimate that with that particular configuration and with that particular run, that we that offer program would have yielded a little over $150,000 in sales or uh, or new revenue. And we can then also compare that to the traditional or the classic approach, which, as you can see on the right-hand side, would have yielded about 96,000. So by running this program through the quantum annealer and by optimizing for the allocation of offers across your full population of cardholders, we're seeing an, an improvement in about 55,000 in revenue. That's great. And I got to tell you, Steve, when we rehearsed this yesterday, that was only 54,900. <laughs> That's a little bit better. We've already made another $100. <laughs> there you go. And you can also see, if you look down at the bottom of the chart, that we can also give an estimate as to the cardholder satisfaction. Yeah, so this cool. tells us that more and more of your cardholder population are getting offers that are relevant to them. And equally, the merchants in your program, the ones who are actually giving these offers, Again, we can estimate that they will see a better overall satisfaction because their offers are reaching the right and relevant cardholders. But we can actually go even a little bit deeper, Alan. So if I click through here, what we can then estimate is, you know, how are those offers being allocated? How is your budget being used? Mm. Um, even things like how many uh, offers 
each cardholder is getting to ensure that we're maximizing all of the various parameters that you give us to ensure we can give you the best possible campaign. Uh, and so this is what this graph is, is showing. Now, the last thing I want to show you, Alan, is this, when we set it up, was a relatively small number of cardholders. Obviously, I suspect your program has a lot more. It, they're bigger than uh, the Millions, numbers that we've yeah. shown there. So what we're working on uh, in my group and in MasterCard is to try and estimate, as we start to scale this, what does it look like? How can we estimate the quantum advantage that we can get as we grow more and more cardholders into the program and try to solve bigger and bigger problems around this idea of offer allocation? Uh, and that's what this graph tells us, where we've done some experimentation in conjunction with some of the engineers in D-Wave to try and help us estimate how that's going to play out as we grow the size of the programs. This is fantastic, Steve. Just what I needed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alan. Pleasure.